that I travel a lot. And you have heard me talk about my bestest friend. And yes, I know, I know where the English teachers, you can't have a word that's bestest because it's good, better. We learned this in high school, Graham. Good, better, best. Never let it rest till the good get better and the better get best. So you feel best, you can't have anything over that. But women have just taken the word best and ruined it. This is my best friend. This is my very best friend. This is my best friend forever. This is a lady I met yesterday. She's my best friend. We're new best friends right here. <laughs> so my good friend Norma Rose and I decided we would elevate it to bestest friend. And you can have only one. One bestest friend. And I was talking to Norma Rose and I said, Norma Rose, next week or so, I'm going to go to Las Vegas and speak. And she said, oh. Las Vegas? You gonna go to Las Vegas? I've never, I've never been to Las Vegas. I didn't have enough airline miles <laughs> to go to Las Vegas. And I said, you never have been to Las Vegas? Why don't you go with me? I got plenty of airline miles. You can go with me. I'll call the client. We can stay a few extra days. I can arrange it all if you'll go. And she said, well, I don't know, what do they do out there? Don't they just gamble? And I said, well, there's a little of that. <laughs> and she said, well, you can gamble if you want to, Jeannie. I said, well, there's a lot of other things. Bill Cosby is on the week that we would be there. We can get tickets to that. We can do that, too. Well, she said, now, you've glossed over it. Let me be honest with you. I want you to gamble. It's okay if you gamble, Jeannie. You're a Methodist. <laughs> what? You're a Methodist, Methodist gamble. But I'm a Baptist, and Baptists don't gamble. I said, well, Norma Rose, have they told all of them yet? <laughs> So fast forward, we go to Las Vegas, get in the hotel. She's got her camera. Well, she's taking pictures of everything, everywhere we go. We get to the hotel. We get out where Bill Cosby is appearing. We get our tickets. And then we look, and we still had over an hour before we had to get into the show. And I said, Norma Rose, let's go in the casino and play the quarter slot machine. She said, oh, no, Jeannie, it's okay if you want to go in there. I'll just sit in the lobby. No, come on, what is wrong? I don't gamble, and I'm not going to start gambling. I said, that's why I chose the quarter slot machines. The slot machines are not gambling. <laughs> the word gamble means you have a chance. <laughs> and you don't, Norma Rose, you don't have a chance on the slot machine. Let me put it in a term you would understand and appreciate. If we put in the maximum number of quarters, five, and the three sevens came up, seven, 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 and the bells went off and we hit the jackpot, it would be called a miracle. <laughs> so she agreed to go inside. And I said, you can just sit there. And I went to great lengths, and this is hard to do now in Vegas, to find a slot machine where the quarters spit out. Everything's computerized now. You just punch buttons and they zap your quarter up. Your hands are clean. You've lost all your money. You don't know what it is. <laughs> but I wanted her to see the old-timey machine where you pull the lever and everything comes out. And so we found one. I said, now sit on that stool right there and let me show you how you do this. I've got a quarter here. And I'm going to put the quarter in this slot machine. I'm going to pull this big lever down and we'll see what in it went. Do -do -do -do. Do -do -do -do, and two cherries popped up and two quarters popped out. And Norma Rose said, oh, you won a quarter. You doubled your money. She was a math teacher and she could figure this out. You doubled your money just like that. You've won in the casino. I said, no, you don't understand what I'm telling you. I'm not going to win in the casino. If I were going to win, I would take this quarter and put it in my purse. And you and I would get up and we'd walk out of here right now. And never again in my lifetime would I ever step foot in a casino. And then when I die and they take me home to Graham on my tombstone, they would say, here lies a woman who won in the casino. 
but we're not going to do that, Norma Rose. We're going to put that quarter we won back in there. We're going to put my first quarter back in there. I'm going to pull that lever and see what happens. We lost them. She said, you lost your quarter. That's what I've always heard. You win it and you blow it just that fast. I said, now, come on, Norm Rose. We're just having a good time. So we played. We had $10 worth of quarters. And after a while, we're talking, looking at people. Look at her. I wonder where she's from. I don't know. All of a sudden, she says, is your arm getting tired? <laughs> I said, not especially. Well, it looks tired. Why don't you let me pull that lever? <laughs> For just a little while. And I said, no, I'm not going back to Alamance County, North Carolina, having turned you on to the life of gambling. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to let you. She said, I'm not gambling. Look at it as a good Baptist taking care of a friend with a tired arm. <laughs> so I scooted my chair over, and she got in, and then she went full toe into going with this lever, and we kept playing, and we kept playing all along the stuff. And before long, we... We almost gave out. I said, I think our money's about gone, but it doesn't much matter. We got to get in there for the Cosby show anyway. And I thought she was getting her lipstick out of her purse. And she came and she's, oh, I found three quarters in the bottom of my purse. Here, they're for you. I said, uh uh, no. You're pulling the lever and I'm letting you, not going to let you put money in the machine. You're gambling then for sure. She slaps it down and says, I'm not gambling. I'm putting it right there for you. And whatever you do with it is your own business. We lost her three quarters. And I said, Norma Rose, we got five quarters left. Let's put them all in and pull it and get on out of here to the Cosby Show. And we put them in, pulled the lever, and we're picking up our stuff. And our little worlds changed. <laughs> First thing we heard was whoop, whoop, whoop. Seven, seven, seven. Ding, 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 ding. And above all of it, I could hear Norma Rose saying, we won. We won! What are you going to do with your half of the money? <laughs> I pulled the lever. You saw me pull the lever. There were people that were r rushing toward the machine to see how much. And Norma Rose turns and with great flourish says, It's a miracle! <laughs> It's the quickest I've ever seen a Christian change denomination. <laughs> Norma Rose sat down on that stool, a good Baptist, and within an hour, jumped up an Episcopalian. <laughs> so we were putting the quarters in our person. I said, we got to go, we got to go. And she said, wait, nobody will believe we won. You think left brain will believe you without a picture? You think Alan's going to believe me? I've got my camera. Get over there with the sevens. I said, well, you're right. And I stood there like Vanna White and took my picture. I said, give me the camera. And the biggest man you will ever see who isn't playing pro football <laughs> said, ma'am, put the camera in your purse. <laughs> what? She put the camera in your purse. No cameras are permitted on the casino floor. Let me just explain this for the Baptists who are here tonight. This is not unusual. No casino lets you take any pictures on the casino floor because what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. And Norma Rose, in front of my eyes, changed personality. She said, no, no. Jeannie's got a picture of her with the three sevens. If I don't have a picture, nobody will believe I was there. No. He was saying in an even fiercer tone, ma'am, put the camera in your... No. Then she turns to me and says, Jeannie, you go around the country talking, talk, talk, talk to him. <laughs> Tell him something. So I said, you might not believe this, but we're not from here. <laughs> and one of us is never going to come back because she doesn't have enough airline miles. And we just want this picture because we want to prove to our husbands that we, we won. And if we just do that, and then he said in a gruff voice, ma'am, give me the camera. Oh, no. And then it was a miracle. He said, ma'am, I'm trying to tell you if you will give me the camera and the two of you get with the sevens and let me take your picture. And then you put this camera back in your purse and get out of this casino. 
and neither one of you ever step foot in here again. We can do this. So we got over here, and we posed, Norma posed, and I'll be doggone. How small town can we get, Norma? He takes the picture, and she stops and says, wait a minute, take two. You always take two pictures when you're in these kinds. <laughs> We dragged the money bag out, got out in the hall, and I said, now, stay with the money. I got to go tell him something. She said, don't go back. I said, we got time. And I went back, and I found this man. And when he saw me coming, he practically, oh, no, oh, no, what does she want? I said, I want to tell you something. I, I realized that you just bent the rules for this casino, and I just want to come back and tell you that I would have never dreamed when I came in here tonight that I would meet somebody that would do that, and I appreciate it. And he said, that's all right, ma'am. I never would have dreamed when I came to work in this casino tonight that I'd run into Lucy and Ethel. LAUGHTER